All right, and we are back, and let's jump into this honor duel. I really like this system because it reminds me a lot of like uh, Hearthstone's arena a little bit. Um, there's probably other other modes, game modes like this out there that have that share similar ideas, but um, I really enjoyed this because it it does does challenge you a little bit, and uh, with these auto battlers, you know, I'll I'll take that. So. Uh, honor duel. Choose an initial artifact and hero combo to begin your challenge. Uh, you can use honor badges in the duel store to buy heroes and equipment. The store automatically refreshes after each battle round. Honor badges can be obtained through battles. So that's your currency. Um, that's what you're going to buy to change something. Uh, or equip new weapons or get new heroes or upgrade your heroes, etc. Again, we'll go through, excuse me, through this as we go through. Um, you hero ascend, which is just going to make their quality better. They're going to hit harder and all that, which is interesting. Uh, and then participate in battles or ascend your heroes to get your artifact, which you get, which will level up um, and do more for you. Uh, you need to win nine times, or if you lose three, you just lose. So the goal is obviously is to win. And you get little, um, clicking up here, you get victory rewards for, for winning, but you also, they have a, an event going on which has a customized, like, a, um, a skin for a character. And I, you know, I kind of appreciate that a little bit. That makes it fun. And it, it, if the game is, you know, the system that you're doing is fun to do it, it's not just something mindless. Um, I can point it like arcs. For instance, the tower defense game that I played, and I like that game, but the events were very la lackluster in my opinion. And if you just didn't have the uh, right combo of people and all that, it just didn't turn. It just wasn't fun. So, uh, but we're gonna jump in here because again, I like this this game mode. So, this is honor duel. Um, this is your first your starting combo. So, like he, Chippy's coming in, uh, you pick what you want so you get um this is revolving around graveborn heroes you see enhancing light bearer heroes or enhancing mauler heroes so you kind of have a theme that it goes over and it also shows you your artifact and you kind of pick it and you go or you just do random and have fun um and again i really like this system so what are our three before i you before i think about doing random so obsidian deals true damage to all enemies once every 12 seconds the damage equals 3.5 percent of allied graveborn heroes um actual damage taken with 12 seconds each deployed legendary graveborn here increases the damage multiplier each deployed mythic by um higher so the higher they're up or six unlock a new passive so you get passives off these artifacts as well which is really cool uh attack physical and mana equal to five percent of the total stats of all light bringer heroes i like that one that's not bad um for 10 seconds these more activate every 10 seconds after the battle starts that sounds really fun i like mario's block the first fatal blow i don't really like the fatal blow here i get it that can definitely save your butt but uh, let's go Lightborn. So once you pick, um, you get start with three characters, but then afterwards you get um, two more. So you want five total here. What it comes down to, it's saying, hey, for 18 of your currency, you start with 60. You can get three random heroes or you can get three light break. Uh, light bearer which is awesome you can also lock these in so they stick around for next round um shield of 40 percent of max hp this would be good for a tank and then increases ultimate damage by 40 percent so these are initial like uh, equipment so you put one equipment on a character that's what these slots are and they just do something and it, again it's really really it, it's interesting to me so uh, first row, we're going to start with getting Light Barn uh, Heroes, and right off the bat, we got one of my favorite ones already. Um, Tamisia is really, really, really strong in here, I've noticed. So, um, And that one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that that completes the Light Barn on here. So, it's ultimate damage. I'm going to actually buy this. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to equip it on uh, on Tamisia here. 
and we're going to re-roll and see if we can get other things. We got some more Lightborn. Now, the reason why I'm locking in Lightborn is we want to upgrade these heroes as fast as possible, all, uh, all the while also equipping them with weapons uh, and or armor. Increases the 12% attack for the ally placed behind the character. So we could do some kind of combo with her and um, Vala. Vala's really good. I like her. Um, this might be interesting with her too. Um, I'm going to just play this and we're going to see how it goes. To me, this is just a funner arena um, because you don't... It's less about somebody's ability to just pay to win, not to, so to speak. Um, but it's less, it's more about you getting a random set like this and trying to build it up. Um, and as Chippy just said, you kind of start out with putting down three characters right now. So I'm going to put three. I'm going to put three down like so, and then you confirm it, and then your opponent shows what they did with characters, so they they had it all there, and then you do the same here. Well, we're just going to do this. What a tough fight. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to call that good. And I kind of, like I said, just if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. Who else do you got? You got Wilders. Okay. So we watch now. Looks like we're going to win. Nice. First win. I'll take it. Experience is the best teacher. So after we win, you come back, and this is where we respend. Now. I do like attack speed here. I will probably buy that. We don't have enough, so I'm just gonna buy one of these. So again, this is interesting. So we get light bearer heroes and you're gonna see the upgrade here. So uh, our hero ascension right here with Corin, he becomes uh, legendary now. So, Or there are already legendary. I think this is... It's not mythic. I forget the upgrade here. But that's not important. Um, we're out of money. But I'm going to put that attack speed on him. And we're just going to run into the next one. And that's kind of the thing about this. Is it's just kind of quick. Quick and easy. Get in there. Fight. And just, just like it. Uh, heroes not used in a previous round will earn honor badgers if they're deployed in the current battle. Yeah. Battlefield I don't need to do that. Charge bravely um, this one's light. interesting because we can do this. What kind of treasure awaits us today? I'm going to put you here and we're going to put you down on that side. I'm going to confirm it. They're probably going to stack the right. Yeah, like like they always do. Um, in that case, I'm going to put that and... What a tough fight. I'm going to put you and you like this to kind of card my back, so... Yeah, he's already dead. They're already dead. Now, one thing, is, again, to go through is important is kind of keeping them, at least what i found, is keeping again. If you're going to do light bearer, stick to everyone light bearer. Don't try and spread them out. Um, but we upgrade our, our artifact, so we get to pick a effect now. So grants all allied mythic heroes 12% attack, physical damage, grants all allied heroes in magic damage 30 seconds after the battle start. Let's just go, let's just go straight up 12% here. take it we can view the XP that's needed to get to the next part but we won't worry about that 
Um, we got 41, so I've got this locked in. I could go for three new characters. I think I'm going to do that. I'll take it. That's a free upgrade to an Ascension. Um, I'm going to lock... What's your name? Marley in, and we'll re-roll, trying to find a weapon. We don't have enough to buy it, but we can at least think about getting her something in the next one. Uh, we didn't get any light bearer heroes. Again, this was ultimate damage. I'm not worried about it, so let's match it up. Do this. Let's Could just do this one again, light. shall we? What kind of treasure awaits us today? Oh, just pile the legendary. So it's epic into legendary. Um, and then these two will cover up the backside. See what they put down. Oh Lord. Okay. Come on. You'll need my spear. Whew. What a tough fight. I'm going to let her jump in. She's probably going to get focus fired, so it's fine. Life steal is a big thing in here, I've noticed as well. So. Yeah, we lost Marley. Vala almost went down, but it's fine. Okay. A little rough there, a little rough, but we did good. Uh, well, this is almost a guaranteed buy. We'll lock that in real quick. What does this one do? Grants an allied hero 25 haste for five seconds when healing or shielding them. Unstackable. So, interesting. This won't upgrade her. This is a chance to... Okay. I got her. We lo this this character, her DPS is ridiculous in this game mode too. So, we'll definitely take that. She's locked in. Let's reroll for Okay, that's for next round. We can start building for that. What is this? Restores 15% lost HP when inflicting control effects on an enemy. That'd be good for a lot of crowd controllers, but we're just kind of going going ham with the DPS right now. So this would be 30. We don't have that. This would be 25 to hook her up with at least one upgrade. And I'd rather do that. Because she is going into the formation. So we'll take it. And what I like about this is this doesn't feel super serious. Like I'm not sweating, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, sweating over winning or losing here. Uh, let's go. Let's go here. What kind of treasure awaits us here? Research. And right there. What you got, bro? Okay. Come on. You'll need my spear. Whew. What a tough fight. Well. Let's do that. Let's we'll pile it on down here. Probably should separate for AoE, but we'll see. Cause yeah, they're all going on the tank. She's down. Nice. Oh, we got this. A perfect battle with a glorious victory. Four wins. I'll take it. Uh, all right, we're still at sixty. I think this is still a good idea. Um, 15 to add another is not bad, but we're going to re-roll, lock in another light, 
What is this ring? Increases targets damage taken by 20% in 6 seconds when inflicting enemy heroes with a control effect. Again, crowd control. I've seen that being very, very um, strong. Endurance ring, 50% into battle. What do you have? You do have... You do have something. We we'll, Why don't we do that? We don't usually last 20 seconds, but... We'll just put that on for now. We only have five. We could re-roll and see what we get. We got no heroes. Grants a shield equal to 12% of max HP for uh, taunting enemies within 1.5 seconds. That's not too bad. What did we have on here? 40% of HP for 10 seconds when the battle starts. That's 40% of her... Yeah, that one's not as good, but it is an upgraded weapon on that. Increases damage uh, by three tiles away by 25%. I think we just still just have damage dealt to enemies two tiles away or closer. Cause the reason why I kept that was for ultimate. Um, and then this is consumes 10% of current HP every three seconds to heal the weakest ally. We don't need to worry about that. We need new. Uh, we need Tessia's um, or Temesia's. We need one of her so we can upgrade that one. Get her to legendary. Charge bravely for the divine. This is for research. Um, what kind of treasure awaits us today? We're gonna do that. Okay. Come on. What a and we're gonna fight. do that. Now I do Rowan, I think this is. I do Rowan here for healing, but like I said, I'm trying to, just trying to see, oh man. Oh man. I didn't, did I even get touched on that? That poor guy. That poor guy. Um, well. This would upgrade her. I'm going to just rocket fire that to ascend. What do you do? Teleports to the symmet uh, symmetrical tile on the enemy side if no allies are placed on the adjacent tiles when the battle starts dealing 180% damage to the adjacent enemies and stunning them for 3 seconds. Holy bejeebus. Alright. I'm going to think about that because that sounds amazing with uh, Vala. She jumps over there and just wrecks house. That, that's a that's a thinker. We could do we could do both of these. Let's see what we get here. Again, ascension is going to be important for this. We also want to be upgrading our relic. So, um, this is a this is really really a good idea. I don't know though. It might give our DPS. And we might lose a round, which is okay. I think I'm gonna buy it just to have it. I'm gonna re-roll. Increases ultimate damage by 60% and restores an additional 200 area uh, energy. Okay. We'll lock you in. What is this? Increases base stats by 10% for all allied heroes with epic equipment. Yeah, I've used that before. I didn't see success with it though. Um, he'll complain. Should be complains that we are going without equipping something. So, charge break. Um, for the, this is for what kind of treasure awaits us today. Yeah, we're probably going to do something like that. No, let's do this. Come on. Whew. What a tough fight. Just fine. 
with what we have. I kind of don't like to disrupt that if uh, <laughs> if we're just winning like this. Uh, all right. Well, we got random. We got Arbiter's Armor, reduces a carrier's damage taken by 20%. The allied hero is equipped with Arbiter's Blade, reduces a carrier's damage taken by an additional. This is really, really good. Uh, I think I'm going to buy this now, and we're going to put this on to Messia. This, like I said, uh, it's hard to plan. It's also good for the stun, but I'd rather have had that than not had it. Um, let's just buy these now. Which ring? What ring was this? Starlight. Okay. Uh, again, we're kind of that point where we want to basically be doing the upgrading and getting better equipment on our characters was this increases 150 attack speed for five seconds after an assist or kill on an enemy hero uh, increases base stats for an ally placed one tile behind if the carrier is defeated yeah we don't care about that cast ultimate once without costing energy but reduces the carrier damage dealt by 50 percent for 10 seconds after i am um, hmm that's actually really tempting. This is overall 30% damage, but her ultimate going off right off the bat would be kind of crazy. I'll lock that one in. I'll lock that in and let's reroll. Damage by 8% for 3 seconds when hit by different enemies, stacking up to 5 times. That's actually not bad. As just like a base, um, a base attack speed increase here. Wide open, huh? All right. Well, we're just gonna set up. You'll need my spear. This is for research. We're just gonna set up like this. Oh my dude. What treasure awaits us today? What do you else what else do you got? Two epics? Okay. Took a little bit of damage, but yeah, they're Vala, man. Vala just jumping in. <laughs> That's what I mean about using that uh, one thing that she just does her ultimate. I'm pretty sure she'd one shot something. Uh, it's just, it's just hard. Uh, wait, who did we? This was, the, um, this was a buy, and we are going to replace it with yours. I'm gonna buy this. And then we're gonna re-roll. Light heroes for 33. What do you got? Increases uh, 40 attack speed for allies. Place three tiles behind the carrier. That's, again, not bad. What is this one? Energy. Okay. That's just an overall... Okay, we're gonna re-roll. What else we got? I keep looking at this guy, and if you played League of Legends, this looks like Taric to me for whatever reason. Uh, further by increase extra damage stat by defeating the target's five while. Yeah, that might not be too bad. We're gonna keep rolling though. Block you in. There's the boots again. Lock you in, lock you in, lock you in. What is this? I don't know what reduce 50 haste is. I wonder if that's just... It's not attack speed, but 
haste. I don't know what it is, would be, but what else do we have? I have this. You know what? We're going to try it once. If we lose, we lose. We're still alive. Because again, I'm wondering if the, is the damage reduction the moment you cast it? So it, it sounds like it's a good idea, but it's not. I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, same thing here. Let's just put them on the front. See what they throw out. Okay. And... Boop. What a tough fight. Let it go, let it fly, let's see. I feel like that did nothing. We definitely took a little bit of a beating here. They're still living. A perfect battle with a glorious victory. Well, we'll take it there. Um, 112. I mean, we're just gonna buy all this. Survivor blocks the damage and restores 100% of max HP when taking a fatal blow for the first time. Reduces the carrier damage dealt when the attacker is effect is off. Eh. Nice. I will take that. Max tier. Um, that still might not be bad. I think I'm going to go back and swap this. This didn't feel like it did anything significant. Um, we're at 19, so we're just going to roll. That wouldn't do anything. What is this? Arrogance. Increases damage dealt by 66%. The battle fails if you die. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, none of these. Enter the invincible untargetable state and gains basic stack. Bonus when all adjacent allies are alive. I've done that one before too. We'll hold on to that. We don't need her anymore. I need one of you. There we go. That'll be good for the next turn. That'll get the this last match for nine victories, which is a um, difficulty challenge, but we'll see if it even works. Charge! This is for re what kind of treasure awaits us today? gonna do that what you got okay come on you'll need my spear Whew. what a tough fight we're just gonna do that Be healing. Well, they're done. A perfect battle with a glorious victory. There we go. Very nice. Nine victories. Went nine and zero. Oh. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna do that on my first uh, video on here. I couldn't even do that on my other account when I when I found this battle mode. That's pretty neat. Uh, let's see what we got over here. We get a bunch of rewards off the top. Obviously, there's um, uh, uh, more rewards here, but this comes down to the other. Where? Where 
where's the it's under the event I believe yeah the expert dueler so this is where you come in for the event you want to you know get a the, to get this skin for um, Parsia was it yeah Parissa sorry is a cosmetic for her again I kind of liked it um, so you come in here and you get these, but the difficulty here, achieve one perfect victory, 9-0 and oh, in honor duel. So I can't believe I actually did that. And achieve a perfect victory without selling any heroes in one round of the duel, too. So that's pretty cool. And this is to get three perfect victories, so this ends in six days, so I uh, assume when this rolls over, right, this is 60 each day, you know, you can't, there's no 10 days on it, I don't know how long this has been going, but regardless, that was still, uh, still pretty cool. Top 56% on that, so... Wow, I'll leave that one off here. That Again, that was a really fun uh, battle mode on here. Let me know what you guys think of it down in uh, the comments below as well. Um, and thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.